Drummers, how's it going? It's Alex once again, bringing you some more fun free drumming ideas. For this week's lesson, we've got absolute cracker. We're going to take a nice, simple swung rhythm, um, sort of kick, snare, and hi hat ideas, single strokes, bass drums on first and third note, snare drum on the fourth note. Really nice, really easy. It should only take about a minute to get or so. And then what we're going to do is, with, with the power of sort of like different voicing ideas, we're going to turn this basic beat into an absolute monster. So if you like what you saw in the intro and you want to give this one a crack, stick around and I'll break it down. Here we go. Alright, so first things first, let's get this basic pattern down. What you need is both hands up on the hi-hat. Your hands are going to be playing single strokes and then we're going one, two, three, on beat four, bring your left hand down to a snare, four, five, six, and then loop that round. One, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six. We're then going to put a kick with the first two right hands, which will be number one and number three. One, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six. Now, because this is triplet based, this groove, um, it's got a swung feel to it. So by the time you get it going, it's got that boop, ba da, boop, ba da, it's a bit more bouncy. All right, so just thinking threes or sixties and um, get that flow going, and it should sound pretty sweet. All right, so that's the basic pattern down. What we're going to do is we're going to sort of transform it over the course of about three steps. All right, so it's going to get gradually more sort of intricate sounding as it goes. The first thing we're going to do, we've got our main groove here. Just chuck your right hand over to the right symbol, play exactly the same thing. One, two, three, four, five, six. 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 That's step one. Time for step two. Things do get a little bit more tricky here, but we're still playing exactly the same pattern. What we're going to do, we've got our right hand up on the ride cymbal already. All we're going to do is we're going to alternate between hitting the bell and the main body of the ride with our right hand. So let's see what that sounds like. Alright, sounds 10 times more complicated, but that's because you've got that little bell sort of popping out at various notes in the pattern. There is a nice loop to it, so once you get the, you know, get used to it and you can sort of feel exactly where it should be, you can sort of settle into the groove a tiny bit more. Let's just speed it up. Alright, so that is with my right hand sort of like starting off on the belt. You can alternate as well, so if you want to, you can start on the main body of the ride, then go out to the belt and you get a slightly different pattern. Alright, but if you can do one, then you can pretty much do the other. It's just whichever one you hit first, you're going to get that particular sound out of it. What I do recommend is just concentrating on just sort of staying on like the left hand side of the bell as you're facing towards it. This is if you're right handed. Uh, use the shoulder of a stick to get that proper bang coming out of it. And you just want to be sort of going back and forth. If you use the shoulder, you haven't got to go too far to um, hit the tip. You probably should be able to see that. Yeah, I can see it's in the camera. Alright, so that is phase three. Let's go from phase one into phase two into phase three. Okay, so finally we've got step four, and all we're going to do for this is every couple of rounds we're going to um, play notes five and six up on the high tom. So we'll ignore the bell of the ride for now, and we'll just sort of go to here. And 
see what you're doing. So if you wanted to practice that little phrase there, then maybe you could sort of put that as like your third, second step. Instead of so after after you start practicing, just getting your hands separated here. If you want to bring in the high time there, that's totally cool. Um, but then the final thing to do is combine it with that little crazy bell pan, which isn't actually that crazy. You're just going ping, ting, ping, ting, ping, ting, because it's got that triplet sort of feel. That bell just feels like it's coming out of nowhere, which is really cool sounding and makes it sound 10 times more complicated than it actually is. So let's just see if we can go through the whole phrase. I'll start on the hi-hat, get the right hand over to the right symbol, bring in that nice little bell pan, pan and then start um, bringing those toms every couple of rounds. So here we go. much all there is to it. So of course you can skip some of these little steps and go straight to it. If you find yourself in a song which has got that sort of do do da da do do da da do do da da do do da so you can actually go from like yeah, it might be a little bit gratuitous but if you find the space for it where it's gonna fit in nicely and um, not upset the rest of the members of your band then Go for it. In fact, go for it if it even does upset them, because sometimes that can be quite fun and it helps them up their game somewhat. But anyway, save for practice and only stick it in a gig if it's actually going to complement the song. All right, so what I'll do, I'll pop up there. We're not going to blast it out particularly fast because you want a bit of space for that ride cymbal to breathe and those toms to come through. Um, I'll play a couple of different speeds, just going through the routine, sort of, you know, on a hi hat to the ride, get the bell in there, and then bring the toms in, and then uh, I'll come and say goodbye. So here we go. All right, nice and slow. I'll sort of work my way up to it and then I'll just sort of settle on that final groove. So here we go. drummers so there it is i hope you enjoyed that lesson thank you very much for watching don't forget to pop over to alexripchesterdrums.com where you can go and grab the sheet music completely for free you can download it you can print it off you can do whatever while you're over there do check out the sponsorship program for five pounds a month all you gotta do is sign up um, and you'll get well twice as many lessons as you get now and a lot more of the lessons are much more in depth also got the quick start guide which we're adding to sort of like at least every month um, and that library is getting bigger and bigger and then there's all the extra exclusive lessons which i've sort of shown little previews of as well in the past um, also, if you are a sponsor already, you're happy to know there's another lesson going up today because I missed out last week where we'll be looking at offbeats between the kick, snare and hi-hat, sort of all bass drums and snare drums landing in between those notes. Kind of part of the quick start guide part two um, section that we're doing. Alright, so I'll put a little clip of that at the end so you can watch that if you want to and then if that inspires you to come and join up if you're sort of at that sort of beginner, intermediate sort of level, then that would be perfect for you. So, until then, take care. Keep drumming and I'll see you very soon for some more fun free drumming ideas. Alright, see you later. Bye.